Giraffes. Fully grown giraffe stand. 4.35.7 METR. 14.1 to 18.7 feet tall. With males taller than females. The average weight is 1.192 kilograms. 2.628 IB. For an adult male and 828. Kilogram. 1.825 B for an adult female despite its long neck and legs its body is relatively short the skin is mostly gray or dot tan and can reach a thickness of 20 millimeters 0.79 inch the 80 to 100 centimeters 31 to 39 inch long tail ends in a long dark tuft of hair and is used as a defense against insects Giraffes are still found in numerous national parks and game deserves but estimates as of 2016 indicate there are approximately 97.500 members of giraffe in the wild more than 3.600 were kept in zoos in 2010 the coat has dark blotches or patches which can be orange chestnut brown or nearly black separated by light hair usually white or cream colored male giraffes become darker as they age the coat pattern has been claimed to serve as camouflage in the light and shade patterns of savannah woodlands when standing among trees and bushes they are hard to see at even a few meters distance however Adult giraffes move about to gain the best view of an approaching predator relying on their size and ability to defend themselves rather than on camouflage, which may be more important for calves each giraffe has a unique coat pattern. Calves inherit some coat pattern traits from their mothers, and variation in some spot traits is correlated with neonatal survival. The skin under the blotches may serve as windows for thermoregulation, being sites for complex blood vessel systems and large sweat glands. The fur may give the animal chemical defense as its parasite. Repellents give it a characteristic scent. At least 11 main aromatic chemicals are in the fur, although indale and 3-methylindole are responsible for most of the smell. Because males have a stronger odor than females, it may also have a sexual function located on both sides of the head the giraffe's eyes give it good eyesight and a wide field of vision from its great height the eye is larger than in other ungulates with a greater retinal surface area giraffes possibly see in color and their senses of hearing and smell are sharp the ears are movable and the nostrils are slit shaped which may be an adaptation against blowing sand the giraffe's prehensile tongue is about 45 centimeters 18 inch long. It is black, perhaps to protect against sunburn and is useful for grasping foliage and delicately removing leaves from branches. The upper lip is prehensile and useful when foraging and is covered in hair to protect against thumbs. Papillae cover the tongue and the inside of the mouth, the upper jaw has a hard palate and lacks front teeth the molars and premolars have a low crowned broad surface with an almost square cross section neck the giraffe has an extremely elongated neck which can be up to 2.4 meters 7.9 feet in length along the neck is a mane made of short erect hairs the neck typically rests at an angle of 50 to 60 degrees Though juveniles have straighter necks and rest at 70 degrees the long neck results from a disproportionate lengthening of the cervical vertebrae, not from the addition of more vertebrae. Each cervical vertebra is over 28 centimeters 11 inch long. They comprise 52 to 54 percent of the length of the giraffe's vertebral column. Compared with the 27 to 33 percent typical of similar large ungulates, including the giraffe's closest living relative, the okapi appears that a suspensory ligament allows the lanky legs to support the animal's great weight.
B. Hooves of large male giraffes. Reach a diameter of 31 centimeters by 23 centimeters. 12.2 inch x 9.1 inch. The rear of each hoof is low and the fetlock is close to the ground allowing the foot to provide additional support. For the animal's weight, the animal relies on the forward and backward motions of its head and neck to maintain balance in the counter momentum while galloping the giraffe can reach a sprint speed of up to 60 kilometers per hour 37 miles per hour and can sustain 50 kilometers per hour 31 miles per hour for several kilometers if the giraffe wants to bend down drink it either spreads its front legs or bends its knees studies in captivity found the giraffe sleeps intermittently around 4.6 hours per day mostly at night it usually sleeps lying down however standing sleeps have been recorded particularly in older individuals intermittent short deep sleep phases while lying are characterized by the giraffe bending its neck backwards and resting its head on the hip or thigh a position believed to indicate paradoxical sleep the circulatory system of the giraffe has several adaptations for its great height its heart, which can weigh more than 11 kilograms, 25 pounds, and measures about 60 centimeters, 2 feet, long, must generate approximately double the blood pressure required for a human to maintain blood flow to the brain. As such, the wall of the heart can be as thick as 7.5 centimeters, 3.0 inch. Giraffes have unusually high heart rates for their size, at 150 beats per minute when the animal lowers its head, the blood rushes down fairly unopposed and a reet murabile in the upper neck, with its large cross-sectional area, prevents excess blood flow to the brain. They also feed on shrubs, grass and fruit. A giraffe eats around 34 kilograms, 75 pounds, of foliage daily. When stressed, giraffes may chew the bark off branches. Giraffes are also recorded to chew old bones. Reproduction in giraffes is broadly polygamous. A few older males mate with the fertile females. Females can reproduce throughout the year and experience cestrous cycling approximately every 15 days. Female giraffes in pestris are dispersed over space and time. So reproductive adult males adopt a strategy of roaming among female groups to seek mating opportunities. With periodic hormone-induced rutting behavior approximately every two weeks, males prefer young adult females over juveniles and older adults. Male giraffes assess female fertility by tasting the female's urine to detect estrus in a multi-step process known as the Fleeman. Response once an estrus female is detected, the male will attempt to court her. When courting, dominant males will keep subordinate ones at bay. A courting male may lick a female's tail, rest his head and neck on her body or nudge her with his ossicones. During copulation, the male stands on his hind legs with his head held up and his front legs resting on the female's sides. Giraffe gestation lasts 400. 460 days after which a single calf is normally born although twins occur on rare occasions the mother gives birth standing up the calf emerges head and front legs first having broken through the fetal membranes and falls to the ground severing the umbilical cord. a newborn giraffe is 1.7 to 2 m 5.6 to 6.6 .6 feet tall within a few hours of birth, the calf can run around and is almost indistinguishable from a one week old. However, for the first one to three weeks, it spends most of its time hiding. Its coat pattern providing camouflage the ossicones, which have lain flat while it was in the womb, become erect within a few days. Calves may be weaned at 6 to 8 months old but can remain with their mothers for up to 14 months. Females become sexually mature when they are 4, 
years old, while males become mature at four or five years. Spermatogenesis in male giraffes begins at three to four years of age. Males must wait until they are at least seven years old to gain the opportunity to mate. Thank you for watching.